Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ranita here. If you're new, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification buttons on so that you know when a new video is coming out. Feel free to leave a comment as well. And if you've been following me for some time now, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. Today I'm going to be doing a swatch of both the Wahala 1 and the Wahala 2 palettes on my arm. I'm very excited to do this as you know I've already put up several looks using both of these palettes and um, today I thought it would be a really good idea to actually compare both of them. I myself want to see the range of colors that we're getting from both of these beautiful palettes. I really hope I can fit all the colors in because you know um, the Wahala 2 has got I think 30 different colors so yeah I'm gonna try my best to fit in all of these colors on my arm and I'm gonna be changing the position of the camera just so that you're able to see my full arm and see how I'm swatching. I tested out the Wahala 1 palette a lot more than the Wahala 2. From my own personal experience, I found that the shimmers and the glitters have worked a lot better for me than the mattes. Um, some of the mattes I've actually found a bit difficult to apply, but um, I am upgrading my makeup base. and. Uh, you know, it may actually work a lot better once I've done that. I hope that this helps you make a decision on what palette you'd like to buy. I think both of these palettes are fantastic. If you've been looking at their page, you'd know that they've been having sales because it's been Christmas, there was Black Friday, there was Cyber Monday, so many different sales. So you may have been able to get these palettes on a discount. And if you did, I'm really happy about that. So yeah, let's get down to the swatching. So we're going to begin by going in with the Wahala 1 palette and I'm now taking BU which is a beautiful purple color and I'm going to be putting that right over here just to get this started off. So I have not applied any setting powder or anything like that to my skin, I'm just using my fingers to apply this. So even when I used this on my eyes, I did have to apply the color a, a few times to get, you know, uh, a higher level of pigmentation. Next I'm going in with Unafraid, which is in the same row. And as you can see, the shimmers are just stunning. They are very easy to apply. Next I'm going in with Envy, which is the next color. It's a beautiful, beautiful glittery purple. It is absolutely stunning. It is definitely one of my favorite shades from this palette. And I'm just applying it right over here. Next I'm going in with Woke, which is the fourth color in that particular column. I'm just gonna put that right over here. The next colors that we're going in with will be Stand Up, which is a beautiful shimmery color. Next I'm going in with Pride. Pride is a matte shade. So I'm actually wearing Pride today in my eyeshadow look. And as you can see it's a fairly light color, but it's still very nice, especially if you want to highlight your, you know, brow bone, which is what I've done today. Next, I'm going in with Sis. And lastly, I'm going in with Unshook. Unshook is a metallic brown, which is like the other metallics, very, very smooth, very creamy. Now I'm going in with Fighter, which is one of the duochromes. You can see just how pigmented this is. It's a stunning, stunning shade. Also very easy to apply. As you can see, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going in with Gossip, which is a lovely gold. I really like that color. Over Sabi, which is that pretty yellow that you've seen me use in quite a few of my looks. And of course, Pepper Body, which is a, a glitter shade. Also very, very pretty. And what I've noticed about Juvia's Place's glitters are that they're, they're definitely easier to apply than the other glitters I've tried from different brands. Now I'm going in with Fire, which is the very, very dark red that you can see. I have used Fire before, so this is the pigmentation that I'm getting from that. Next I have Rumors, which is a stunning shimmer. I really like this color. Then we have Unsilenced. And Busybody, which is a very, very pretty pink. 
Now I'm going in with Powell, which is one of their other duochromes. But in some lighting it actually looks purple. I'm not really sure if you can see the purple when I do this. And then we have Yanga, which is another glitter. As you can see, this is it. It's, it's, it's a beautiful shade. Definitely something I'd like to try in the future. Love, which was one of my favorite shades from this palette. I absolutely loved Love. Just look at that color. It's, it's beautiful. And last but not least, we've got Clout, which is another glitter shade. This is the entire Wahala palette. So it's beautiful. And now that I've shown you this, I want to show you the Wahala 2 palette. As you can probably see from the Wahala 2 palette, it's got a lot more colors than the Wahala 1. It's got 30 colors and the Wahala has only 20. So because of this, I'm going to be using a brush so that I can try and get as many colors as possible. So I'm going to be starting over here with Fame, which is a pretty little white. I've not tried this color yet, but let's see what it looks like. This is Fame. It looks like a glitter shade. Yeah, kind of like a white with a slight golden touch to it like mini golden particles inside it. Next, I'm going in for Greed. My Greed broke on the way to me and uh, Juvia's Place is supposed to be replacing it, so I'm waiting for that. But as you can see, it's definitely a lot more pigmented than the first shade that, that I used. Okay, next I'm going in for Shakara. Shakara is pretty, it is crumbling quite a bit. So hopefully I get a good color payoff from here. Okay, so this is basically a bit more white, I would say, than the other shades. And I think you can probably see that um, it is crumbling quite a bit. Now I'm going in for Ambitious. It's a slightly different silver shade, I guess, from I can't really see much of a difference between this shade and that shade, I guess. And then next I'm going to be taking some of Gobi, which is a glitter. One of those heavy kind of glitter shades. But I like how it kind of sticks to your hand. This is one of those thicker kind of glitters. I actually think it's, it's working quite well. I like how it actually just sticks to my arm as you can probably see. You can probably see this, that it's sticking to my arm quite well. So I actually prefer this because it means maybe I may not need as much, you know, glitter glue. Some glitters when you use them, they actually just, they're so frustrating to use because they just fall all over the place, but this doesn't seem to be doing that. Next I'm going in with blues. I'm taking some of Nava O. get some of that pigment out guys. It's taking a bit of time. I think this may be because I'm using a brush like I said. It is, and uh, yeah it's kind of mixing with the previous shade as well. Now just remember that even though I may be struggling over here when you use a makeup base these colors are going to show up very differently. And now I'm taking some of Wicked which is the shade right under that. It's uh, another matte shade. Generally, like I said, I find that the matte shades don't always show up as pigmented as, you know, the shimmery ones and the glitters. So this is still okay. Next, I'm taking some of Amiibo, which is the shade right under Wicked. And I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so this is a shimmer shade. And it is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, it's it's going on very, very smoothly. I like this. Like, in comparison to some of the other shades, I've actually found this easier to apply to my arm. So you can see that just with one stroke, you know, you get quite a lot. Of course, I've gone back for seconds just because I want to show you what you can actually get when you apply this. So Fury is right under Amiibo. I'm going with that. Looks like a deeper blue. It's 
So again, another matte shade that takes its time to show up. Um, this doesn't mean, like I said, this does not mean that the color does not work. It's just a little harder to apply, I would say. And I'm a bit tired of using the brush, so I'm gonna go in with my finger. Next is Rage, which, as you can see, is kind of like a in-between color, I would say. It's kind of like purple, it's like a silvery purple shade that I can see over here. And now let's go in with Eggma B. Um, I used this, I think, for my very first Wahala 2 look and then I covered it up, but but I do remember the color payoff being quite dark. Next, I'm going in with Venom. Next, I'm going in with Lust. So now I've got Hater, I'm going to try and keep that as thin as possible because I don't want to take up too much space right now. I need to show you two more columns of colors. From the angle I'm looking at it, Venom actually looks darker but when you look at the palette, it looks like Venom is lighter. So next I'm going in for Jealous. Jealous is a matte shade. Ooh, can you see that? So I would say that this is kind of similar to Love from the first one, except that this one's definitely so much brighter. Upon initially looking at Love, I thought that these would actually be very similar shades, but they're actually different. So, you know, it's always good to, to know that you're getting different shades when you buy palettes like this, otherwise what's the point, right? You're just getting dupes of the same color. Okay, next I'm going in with ASAP, which is a matte brown, as you can see over here. This is probably one of the more exciting colors simply because, you know, it's, it's a duochrome. I don't know if you can see, but I can very clearly see a changing color. It looks purple, pink, gold, green even. So yeah, this is, this is an exciting color to actually put down here. Oh my gosh, can you see this color? This is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. And it definitely changes color in the light. Very, very impressed by that. And now I'm going in for Too Much. Too Much is um, another pink. And I remember when I first saw this pink, I was wondering if it would be the same as the one in the Wahala one. But it's not. As you can see, it's definitely a much brighter version of, you know, what they've put for you in the Wahala one. It's right there. You can see that's a darker pink. This is definitely a lighter color. Very, very pretty though. And um, this is a beautiful glitter purple over here called Kolo. Wow. Let's just look at that. This is stunning. And now I'm just going in for my last two colors, Yab and Oya. So this is Yab right over here, which is a matte pink. It's a very, very gentle pink, I would say, but it's very pretty. I like the color. And as you can see, Oya is a very, very dark metallic brown, but it is beautiful. So in the matte brush that I was in, I forgot to swatch five colors for you and I'm going to be doing that right now. So hopefully you can see the differences. I thought that what I would do is I would actually swatch these three rows for you just so that you get an idea of what the colors are like because I can see that these two rows look quite similar. So these are the shades that I had previously swatched and I'm going to just continue by going in with Dream, which is this shade of blue as you can see. Um, if you saw the very first look that I did using the Wahala 2, you would have noticed that it is very pigmented, very easy to put on in comparison to the previous shade. And then I'm taking some of Goals, which is really pretty. I love this color. It's got slightly bigger glittery um, particles, I would say, with a mixture of green. Very pretty. And then Dope. Dope was probably one of my favorite shades because it really was so beautiful and just so smooth. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. And then I'm following that up with Bold. Now I'm 
just going with the Wahala one. I'm putting Power right next to this, just to give you an idea of similar shades. Power is a dual chrome, and then Yanga again, which you already saw. Love, which I wanted to compare. And so now I'm going back to the Wahala too because there's one more shade that I need to swatch, and that is Money. Money is a very, very pretty dual chrome shade, which kind of looks like it matches with all the other colors you've seen so far. So this is it. And you can see that, you know, this color would actually really complement Love very well. It actually goes really well with all the colors, actually. So this is the entire range from the Wahala 1 and Wahala 2. I put the purples, the greens and the blues together so you'd get a better idea of what all of these colors look like. Just remember that this is from the Wahala 2. I wanted to see how well it kind of went with the colors from here. And I actually think they go very well together. So both of these palettes are complementing each other. So if you buy, if you buy one, I'm pretty sure that it's going to complement the other no matter what you do. So as you can see, this is the entire Wahala 1 and Wahala 2 range on my arm. So I hope that this video has actually helped you to see the entire range of colors and just like I said, the color payoff that you get from using these two fantastic palettes. I think this is really really fantastic the range is really good and you know they give you so many complementary colors over here you know it's just great that they arrange them this way because if you notice you can actually use all of those colors together you can use these four together so even the way that they've arranged it if you have trouble figuring out what colors you want to use just look at the columns and how they've been arranged so if you're looking at the Wahala 1 and the Wahala 2 right now you should be able to see that the Wahala 1 has got 20 shades and the Wahala 2 has got 30 shades. And um, these pots are slightly bigger than these. So either way, whichever you know palette you're planning on going for, you should be able to get a wide range of stunning and beautiful colors. So that's it for the Wahala 1 and the Wahala 2 swatches. I hope that you've seen the potential of these two palettes. They have so many different color combinations and you know, if you always, if you find it difficult to know what colors to use, always look at how the colors are arranged in a palette because they're done so intentionally. For example, if you look at the Wahala 1 and the Wahala 2, they've actually clustered certain colors together. So they've put all the blues in one area, the bluey greens in one area, all the pinks and the reds in one area. Similarly, in the Wahala 1, they do put, you know, colors that will complement each other together. So always look for that and then see what you can create. And if you want to be extra adventurous, you can even follow the rows, take the colors in each row and then, you know, somehow combine them together and you will get beautiful, stunning looks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you share it with your friends and family or anyone you think would be interested. And I'll see you very soon for my next video.